To connect a BMS to a 16.8 volt lithium ion battery, you have to understand the connections on the battery bank as well as the connections on the BMS. So for a fire's BMS, 16.8 volts in this case, this is what it looks like. So you have five connections on the BMS, one labeled zero volt, and you have a 16.8 volts, and you have 4.2 volts, 8.4 volts, and then or 12.6 volts. So these are the five connections you have on a BMS. And on a battery bank, you also have uh, five connections. And this is the battery negative connection. This is labeled zero volt. And uh, this is our four cell pack. Our four cell pack has five cells wired in parallel. So positive to positive and all negative to negative to notch up the current of the pack but the voltage remains the same. So we assume that the cells are fully charged, or the, each of the battery uh, packs is fully charged, and we have 4.2 volts, 4.2 volts, 4.2 volts, and 4.2 volts. So to get our 16.8 volts and perhaps uh, understand the connection on our battery bank, the positive connection of the first cell pack is connected to this one. Then we have our first uh, series connection. Then across this uh, pack, we'll have a will have 8.4 volts. Then here we'll have 4.2 volts. So if you place the black probe of a multimeter on this uh, negative connection of the battery, or negative uh, pole of the battery, and you measure voltage across the first cell pack with your digital multimeter red probe, you get 4.2 volts here. And if you go across this while having your black probe here, you get 8. 0.4 volts here, then you can go on to hook the second cell pack to the third cell pack. And if you measure voltage across here, you get 12.6 volts. Then you connect the third cell pack to the last or fourth cell pack, and your voltage across the, first or the fourth cell pack will be 16.8 volts. Then we can wire it to our BMS now that we understand how our battery is wired. On some BMSs, you don't see it labeled 0 volt, 4 volt, and so on and so on. You see B1, then you see uh, the negative connection for the battery labeled uh, B minus, and the positive labeled B plus, then uh, 8.4 volts is labeled B2, then you have a uh, 12.6 volt being B3. So when you have uh, the various connections labeled using these uh, B minus, B plus, and so on and so on, you know that your B minus is your zero volts, your B1 is your two volts, your B2 is your eight volts, your B3 is 12.6 volts or 12 volts, and the B plus is your 16.8 volts. So you wire battery negative connection to the zero volts or B minus on the on the BMS, then 4.2 volts comes to B1 or 4.2 volts and 8.4 volts to 8.4 volts respectively, then 12.6 uh, volts to 12.6 volts and battery positive connection or B plus to B plus and 16.8 volts on the BMS. Now uh, for some BMSs you have two connections for input and output which is or uh, uh, which are which will be labeled using a uh, plus minus and you have C, then you have uh, also plus minus here and D. This is a uh, discharge output. Your load will be hooked to your battery bank through this connection and the charging for your battery is done through this connection. So you hook your charger or wire from solar charge controller to this connection. Uh, for some BMSs, you don't have these connections uh, separated you have just one connection for input and output, and this is what it will look like. You have a plus, minus. Then you have to split this connection so you can have one for input and one for output. Split the negative connection into two, and split positive into two. Here you have a, let's call this P plus, C plus, C plus uh, P minus, and uh, C minus. Uh, let's see how to 
Uh, let's perhaps uh, simplify the process of splitting this connection into two connections, one for input and one for output. So here is our BMS, and we've got uh, plus here, minus here. So we're splitting this connection into two connections. We have C minus here and C plus here. We call this our input or charge. Then we have a P plus here, P minus here. Then we have our output or discharge. So this is basically how you wire a 4S BMS to a 16.8 volts lithium ion battery. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. See you in the next one and bye for now.